You're listening to Husky Sports Friday. This is Brian Kangas, and I am joined by men's hockey coach Bob Matsko. And Bob, uh, just over two weeks until opening series at UNH. First off, how has practice been looking with the new guys and the freshmen obviously coming up to a bigger and better stage? How have they been handling themselves on the ice so far during practice? Well, we under NCAA rules right now, we're, we're not in full practice mode. We're only allowed two hours a week of of uh, uh, of skills uh, and, and running drills, and we've been using that. That started September fifteenth. We've been using that, doing three forty minute uh, skates a week, and we're just, we're just trying to get you know used to the puck again and the ice and get our speed built up and and uh, you know a handful of things we did are are, are are holding true to form right now. Like our defensive core is far ahead of everybody, but we, we return all of our defensemen from last year that that, that played with the except for one. Uh, and just adding one freshman, so they've been uh, looking very strong for us right now, led by Nick Jensen, uh, and Kevin Gravel. You know, handling the puck, getting us going in transition. We, we kind of like that direction. Uh, the big surprise for us up front is we got a new player out there uh, named Drew LeBlanc, and, and new to us because really we haven't seen him since last uh, uh, October, uh, early November, when he when he shattered his leg and, and devastating injury. We lost him. But it's sure nice to see him out there and, and with he and Hanowski right now le- and Nick Dowd leading our forwards. Uh, Drew LeBlanc, he played this summer in the Minnesota Wild uh, prospects camp. Uh, how is he looking in his rehab? Is he uh, 100% would you say, maybe a little bit less? And how do you think he'll be able to play this season? Well, one, I think he's going to play outstanding. Uh, um, he's going to pick right up where he left off. He's, he is 100% uh, healed right now. Um, you know, he's a little rusty, he might say, uh, we're not seeing much of it because he hasn't played a game, uh, you know, outside of a, a little scrimmage of summer or a couple of scrimmages with the wild and, and what we've been doing, you know, it's been, a, it's been a long time since he's played in a competitive game. He's chomping at the bit to get after it. And that, and that's what it's going to take. It's going to take, you know, a couple of weeks of practice where we really are working hard, you know, where we're going at it every day, not these, you know, three days a week. Uh, get some games under his belt, but but you can just see that that you know um, we're fortunate that you know unfortunate injury that he went through, but we're, our program is fortunate that he chose to come back and 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 you know medical redshirt last year, redo his senior year is really uh, when you've seen things like this happen, some special things can happen for him and the hockey team to have this happen for us, and and that's what we're all hoping that uh, he can uh, he can help lead our hockey team to to. Uh, some places that we'd really like to get to. And uh, with these limited practices, what are you and your coaching staff looking for in these players with just being on the ice a couple hours every week? Well, right now, just conditioning, uh, uh, getting our, our speed back up and, and how the guys can practice at high tempo. Um, um, our puck skills, we're a puck possession team. We want to really work on our passing uh, and, and just so that, you know, we use it as a time to get comfortable. And, and uh, we do have a handful of freshmen that uh, are going to be thrown into the lineup this year, and we're going to need them to contribute. And it, it gives us a couple of weeks to get them on the ice and get their nerves. Uh, you know, they're all nervous when the games start, but, but they need this time right now to work on work with the, the older guys right now, get the nerves settled down best they can, and adjust to the, the, the speed of, uh, of this level. Senior co-captain Ben Hanowski out there with Drew LeBlanc. How huge is it to have two captains of that caliber coming back and leading this team? Well, it's. I mean, Ben came into his own last year. I thought he was one of the best players in our conference, and I uh, finished with 24 goals. Um, and, and most importantly, his confidence is back to where a, a guy like this needs it to be to, to be a big-time player. And he feels great about his game. He's excited to, to build off of what he started last year. He's excited to be a senior. He's excited to lead our hockey team. And, and he's, he was not looking other places. And that's the, the problem a lot of times in college hockey right now. A, a lot of older guys are looking to the next level. They're looking for that opportunity, how they're going to get to the next level. But when you have seen these seniors that are back for the reasons that he is to lead our program, to be a Husky, um, great things can happen. And I, th- I think we're set uh, with some, some big-time uh, performances we're going to see out of Hanowski and LeBlanc and Jensen and, and a crew like that. All right, thank you for your time, Coach. You bet. This is Brian Kangas, and you are listening to Husky Sports Friday. That was head coach Bob Matsko.